So whenever you have a situation, somebody prays, you believe, what comes next? A bad report. Why would you be shocked? It's always that way. God speaks, then the devil speaks. Right? That's the way it always is. God spoke in the garden. I give you dominion. Eat of every tree, but that one. What is the next thing? The devil speaks. What did God really say? See, the devil always comes back. He always speaks after God has said something to, to try to get you to not believe God's word. So, I lay hands on you and I say, be healed. That's a command. Right? I'm commanding the sickness. I'm commanding a devil, if need be. I'm commanding you. I'm commanding your body to be healed. The fact that you come forward, you are submitting under that at that time, and therefore your body will obey my command. That's what will happen. Now, the next voice you hear may be the devil's. Because what you heard from me was the voice of God. And at that moment, I am speaking his voice. And the angels hearken to the voice of the word of God. So the next voice you're going to hear is probably going to be the devil. And it'll either come in from your own mind by him speaking something to you. And you accepting that thought or accepting that suggestion or whatever it is. Well, what if it didn't work? Well, what do, what do I do now? What do, no, don't, don't even go there. No, And you have those things come? No, it did work because the Bible says a believer will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Amen. Brother Curry is a believer. I was a sick. I'm going to recover. End of story. That's the way it goes. Well, yeah, but the doctor's report. I'm, I'm, I had tests done last Friday and now Monday the doctor's report comes back bad. So... What does that change? It is written. Doesn't change a thing. All it's trying to do is change your mind to get you to waver. So don't waver. Amen? Amen. Decide. This is the way it'll be. And th now, if you need help, you can call. We'll help, you know, in that area. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to encourage you to stand strong. I'm going to release my faith as we have done. I'm going to keep my faith strong and you'll be free. It's that simple. Well, then how come there's still symptoms? Uh, because the devil's a liar. He wants you to think. He, he recognizes that you may actually operate by, what, by how you think and that you go by what you feel rather than it is written. And if he knows that about you, he will use that against you. But it's funny because you might you know, swerve off of the it is written in the Bible to believe it is written on a doctor's report. Hmm. With machines that are known to be wrong. So that he can give you medicine, a particular medicine that he gets a kickback from. Just calling things the way they are. Amen? Do you understand that? So you have to decide who you're going to believe. Even after I lay hands on you, you're still going to have to decide whom you're going to believe. Why? Because I can lay hands on you. That, he can take that stuff out of you right then and you can have it again before you walk out that door. Because the devil will go, nah, that didn't work. And you go, yeah, I didn't think it would. And the devil just buddies up with you all over again. And now, this next time, it'll happen worse. It'll, be, it'll even be faster. Why? Because that's the way it happens. So, you have to decide that you're going to stand. No matter what, you'll always get a bad report. That's normal. That's all the devil's got. But you have to decide to believe the first report. You have to believe the word of God that was here way before doctors and machines and all that other kind of stuff. I could, we could go into... Man, I'm telling you. I've been looking at this so much more even recently. And we're going to bring this stuff out. End points. And if you stick around, let me tell you, I promise you, you will hear the word of God and I promise you, you will have greater, stronger faith in God that he is who he says he is and that he will do what he says he will do.